Hey everyone, Jacefer with a tutorial on a server console that is the right height for minifigures. Let's start with the upper half of our components. Take a 2x2 plate and a 2x3 plate. Place them end to end. Now, use a 2x4 plate. Place it on top of the 2x3 and the 2x2. Where we have a 1x2 reveal on the 2x2 plate. Now, Use a 1x2 radiator grill. Place it inside the void. Now, take two 1x2 flat tiles that have a tape print. Finally, a 2x2 tile with a screen print. Now for the bottom half, take a 2x2 two two plate and a 1x2 plate. Place the 1x2 plate on the top part of our 2x2 two two plate, followed by a 1x2 radiator grill. Place it inside the void like so. Finally, Take a 1x2 tile with a print that looks like lights. Place it on top of the 1x2 plate. There's the component layout for our server terminal. Now, to begin the keyboard for the terminal, take two one by one plates with holder. Place them side by side. Now, a one by two plate with stick. Drop it inside the holders. Now let's take a 1x2 tile with a keyboard print. Place it right on top of the 1x2 plate with stick. Now we have an adjustable keyboard for our console. Take four 1x2 by 1x4 angle plates and the 2x2 two two assembly, place one angle plate on the left and one on the right. Now let's attach the adjustable keyboard right above our component. Now, take our 2x5 assembly, take another angle plate, place one on the left with the radiator grill on the top, and one on the right. Now, simply connect these two pieces together. There is our completed console assembly. To begin the right side of our server terminal, take two 1x8 tiles, 
flip them on their fronts like so. Now, take two one by two plates, place one on the top and one on the bottom. Use a one by two plate with stick, place it on the right. Next, use a one by two plate, place it right below our one by two plate with stick. And finally, three one by two plates with shaft, place two on the top and one on the bottom. These are going to be our handles for our components. Now for the left side, take two more one by eight flat tiles, flip them over and place them side by side. Take a 1x2 plate, place it on the third stud from the bottom, a 1x2 plate with stick, place it right above the 1x2 plate, followed by three 1x2 plates with shaft. Place two at the top and one at the bottom. Finally, two one by one plates, one on the top left and one on the bottom left. To fill in these two voids, we're going to take four one by one bricks. Take two of the one by one bricks, place them on top of one another, place it in the top void on the right. Two more one by one bricks. Drop this in the bottom right. There is the left side of our server terminal. Now, the easy part is putting the server terminal together. Let's take our left side and our components, set these in like so. And the right side. There's our server terminal, complete with monitor and keyboard. It is the right height for many figures. So here we have Jay the Surfer, ready to write a little code for the server. Maybe PHP or Java. Server terminal is very versatile. This would work with any LEGO creation, such as a server room, or even possibly for a radio station. Thank you for watching.